Hello viewers, good morning. The topic that we are going to look at today that is mushroom diseases. When mushrooms are growing in the cultivation site, it can be affected by many microbial diseases. The diseases of mushrooms are mainly caused by bacteria, virus and fungi. In this video, you can see in the detail about the disease spread by bacteria. The first bacterial disease that is bacterial blotch. Blotch that means it is a scary and irregular parts. It could be temporary that can appear on the pileus of mushroom. The brown color can develop from the pileus and affect the entire surface of mushroom. Blotches appear in early button stage of mushroom. The spots get enlarged and colors and cover the entire part of mushroom. Finally, the mushrooms appears like brown or tan in color. The bacterial blood it become rotten and the infected tissues of mushroom were leaking from the mushroom full part and spread and affect the whole mushroom crab. Bacterial blood that is affected by Pseudomonas tolasi, Phytomonas tolasi and Bacterium tolasi. These are the organisms are involved to cause bacterial blood. It is highly present in the cap of mushroom and it makes some irregular patches on mushroom. And this is the special characters of Pseudomonas tolasi bacterium. It is an anaerobic bacteria which means it does not require oxygen for that growth. It is a non-spore forming bacteria, gram negative bacteria. It has very thin silver and it is a fluorescent bacteria. So fluorescent that means it will glow yellow green or blue green color under UV light exposure and highly present in soil, compost and casein soil. It majorly affect the button mushrooms. And the discolorization starts with pale yellow color and it becomes darkened to gold yellow in color. The major source of contamination that is arises from soil and water. And high humidity and too much of water irrigation conditions are highly favored for this bacteria Pseudomonas thalassi and majorly spread by chiroglyphid mite. And this blood also appear on any stage during harvest and storage of mushroom. And this is the symptoms of bacterial blood. The lesions that can appear on mushroom tissues are, and the color started with pale yellow color and become golden yellow to a rich chocolate brown in color. The superficial discolorization that is no more than 2 to 3 millimeter depth of mushroom tissue. The underlying tissues when we cut so it look like watery soap and gray or yellow gray in color and this cap consistency it will be like slippery feet and stalk also can be affected the bacterial blood test may appear in the entire growing period of mushroom so it can started with yearly button stage during harvester during refrigerated storage also and wrapped with a watertight film this bacterium is not threat to human health. The disease that can spread through compost, casein, water splash, equipments, pickers, insect and mites. These are the mushrooms are act as a host plant for bacterial blood. Or Pseudomonas tolasi, Acaricus, Acaricus bisporus, that is button mushroom, Acaricus compost trees, Flamulina velutips, Lentunella idodus, Pleurotus eringi, and Pleurotus astritus. And how to prevent and control bacterial blood during the mushroom cultivation period? We should use chlorinated water for water irrigation to the crab at the concentration level of chlorine that is 150 ppm. And there is no chemical control and we must use portable drinking water and inducing the cap of mushroom to dry after water irrigation and so maintain two to three hours for drying and temperature should be raised for few degree and humidity level also maintained below 85 percent and introduce fresh air uh, that is 10 to 15 percent and effective pasteurization of compost and casein we must use 
for the mushroom cultivation process and maintain of hygienic of the shed and watering with 150 ppm chlorine solution it contain calcium hypochlorite and sodium hypochlorite and we follow this preventive measure we should completely control the bacterial blatch thank you